they're slightly better than 50 50 percent in terms of playing out but they're not amazing but if it does play out bitcoin has about a seventeen thousand dollar target on it and that should be achieved in anywhere between six and twelve months per last cycles Now, as for cryptocurrencies, we've been seeing kind of a choppy market there up and down uh, recently for Bitcoin. Your perspective on where that is heading in 2022? Yeah, so I think even last time I was on, I was somewhat on the bearish side uh, on cryptocurrency. I still remember when we were hitting October highs, all time highs. I wasn't buying the breakout above April highs. And and in all fairness, I just was seeing selling by, you know, you could just see how the chart was acting. It wasn't a healthy chart. Um, There was too much hype in this small investor camp, which is never a good sign for an asset that's going to continue to go up. And what we've seen recently is a pretty successful break lower on Bitcoin, right? So just in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin broke out of a very tight range here. Check this out. This was so cool to see. So you had this resistance, which was clearly at 52,000. You hit it here. You hit it here and here. And then you had this lower band, which was right around 45,800. And notice how we kept on hitting on it. And finally, we broke down. Now, you have this little low right here, which was, I think, about a month ago. We had that big flush in the overnight on Bitcoin. But that's actually not the most important thing I'm seeing here. What I'm really watching is there's a secondary trend line which makes up a head and shoulder neckline. And look at this, folks. So right there, connecting this low to this low, and it gives you this low right here. Now, the reason why this is so important is that A head and shoulder pattern is a pattern that is bearish, okay? And if it actually breaks this neckline, if you start trading below, you can calculate the approximate downside target by taking the highest point of the head and shoulders, dropping a plumb line down there. That distance is what this distance will be to the downside. What's so crazy about that is that if it did play out, and again, head and shoulders, They're slightly better than 50, 50 percent in terms of playing out, but they're not amazing. But if it does play out, Bitcoin has about a seventeen thousand dollar target on it. And that should be achieved in anywhere between six and 12 months per last cycle. So if you look at cycles like 2017, when did we bottom out in Bitcoin or 2013? It usually took about six to 12 months following the major all time high at that time for it to bottom out. So, I mean, there's just so much going on in the crypto market here that you have to be just fascinated. And for me, you know, I'm trading it as a swing trader, but I'm certainly waiting patiently as I do expect it to go lower to buy longer term hold positions. And again, you know, I do believe Bitcoin's going to 100,000. I think it's even going to 250 and maybe 500,000, but it has to have that dot com moment, right? So if you look at the dot coms, it's, it, it's almost picture perfect. A lot of people aren't old enough to remember this, but it was my beginning of my trading career. The dot coms, they were so much junk companies with a few great companies mixed in like Amazon. But eventually, you know, all these stocks went up thousands of percentage points, even though they were run out of their parents' basement, made no revenue, no profits. And then we finally had that washout. 95% of them went away. The ones that survived were the mega winners like Amazon. I mean, Amazon went from, I think in 2000, it was around a $75, $80 stock. It went down to $5 in the in the dot com collapse. And where is it now? Right. It's around thirty five, thirty three hundred dollars a share. So it will bring huge opportunities. But I do think investors have to be careful here because, again, you have to have that flush out moment for investors looking to just get involved in cryptocurrencies. If they don't have any, would now be a good time to start dollar cost averaging or really wait out for that washout moment? Yeah, so so I think I think the beautiful thing about it is you're already down from sixty nine thousand to forty three thousand. So I think if you're someone who says, all right, listen, I'm going to put a hundred or five hundred or a thousand dollars in every single month, and I'm going to be committed to doing that. You know what? There's nothing wrong with starting that here, right? You know, just on the off chance I'm wrong, which I've been wrong before, you at least have some skin in the game. But I love that idea with with something like Bitcoin or Ether where you're dollar cost averaging. So if we do go into that winter where, you know, Bitcoin, let's say, hovers around 20,000 for six months, you're getting lots of entries of small positions there to bring your overall average down, especially with the long term views that I have that, that see it going much, much higher over the longer term. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. 
This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Stock market, your perspective on where we are right now. Yeah, so I mean, for me, I'm I'm not sure if I'm in the crash camp where we see like 30 or 40 percent downside in the stock market. What I do think is we will at least have a 20 percent correction in 2020, uh, 2022, maybe more. But again, if you think about it logically, right? So if you look at the stock market, and this is the chart of the S&P 500 of the spiders, and you can see we've been trading in this channel, right? So So basically going back, here's your COVID dip right here. All right. And, and what happened right around this time? The Federal Reserve comes out and says, hey, we are going to print and push one point one hundred and twenty billion dollars into the system every single month. That equates to one point five trillion dollars a year. And in addition, we're going to keep interest rates at zero. And additionally, we're going to expand our balance sheet. And then the U.S. government is going to come out and print lots of money and send the Americans checks. Right. We're going to send all the Americans or at least the ones that qualify you know, multiple checks. So again, it, does it make sense that we had this amazing kind of liquidity expansion that drove the S&P up? It absolutely does. Well, on that same front, you have to be able to be objective and say, okay, the Fed is now telling us that they're taking some of this away. All right. The government is now, you know, you're even seeing the inability for Biden to pass his build back better plan. So that's not extra money going into the system. So you're seeing this situation where it's almost like a little bit of an unwind. And it only makes sense to me to see the stock market, which has been driven by that unwind as well. So I'm in the camp that at some point we, we very clear channel here. At some point we do break below the channel. And then I think, again, my guess is your your downside target for 2022 is this line right here, which was your pre-COVID high. And I would guess that, again, we would trade down there. And that's, you know, I think that's around 20, maybe about 25% to the downside uh, from current levels here on the chart. I do think 2022 is going to be a very volatile year. The Fed capped volatility based on the fact that they were pumping so much money. They were always the backstop for this market. So every sort of dip was a buying opportunity. I would caution people from assuming that's going to continue as they're removing money from the system. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, $1 million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them. And if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange. And one of the biggest are, for example, Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well-established exchanges. But, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof. To the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, 
here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.